Sup, 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 my name is Reaver for the Yu-Gi-Oh! Council, and as promised, here are the Knights of the Noble Knights. Basically, the Knights of the Round Table. Now, let's go break these guys down. There is a dual video featuring Mikey, and it was his first time playing the deck, so make sure to just be kind. It's probably his last time playing the deck, too, since he sold it off. But anyway, these are Noble Knights, and they are pretty easy to play. There is one basic combo, and I know I'm going to get hated for saying this. I'm not the most in-depth Noble Knight player Hell, I don't even play Noble Knights IRL. I just play them online because they're fun. You have a lot of plays to access the Murdart play, which is the basic combo to go into a rank 5 to equip a bunch of stuff to basically win game. Some people will disagree in saying that that's not the best play. Well, I respect your opinion, and you should tell me why in the comments because I don't ma I'm not a master of these guys like I am with Chaos Dragons. I will never deny that, but honestly, it seems like the greatest play they have is pretty much summon this guy out, make sure he can't be targeted by equipping this here and then winning the game by having a 4,000 beat stick that just steals light points. Seems so good. So good. Now, the weaknesses to this deck are pretty easy, which kind of sucks. Jack Frost, Book of Moon, if it can't be targeted, uh, things of that sort, just flipping them face down, awkwardly enough, or bouncing everything back. Now, I don't really think we have, outside of Stat Knights, there's really not anything, Satella Knights, there's really not anything that's going to bounce these guys back. So, there's not too much worry there. But they're a great deck regardless, I just wanted to point that out. So, let's go over this. This is the no Lady of Lake build, because I'm not a big fan of Lady of Lake, just preference. Preference. Uh, we have one Noble Knight Echar, one Noble Knight Gawain, one Noble Knight Drystain, three Murdarts, three Boars, one Burdur, one um, Galvatru. If I per if I mispronounce the name, you'll have to forgive me. Uh, I'm not the best with saying these Noble Knight names. Usually I have nicknames for like Thor, or um, Torchman from Dark Souls. It's a it's a running joke. Two noble, knight, uh, two noble knight brothers, three Merlin, and two Queen of the Noble Arms. She's basically another equipped card, so it helps get that going. One Raigeki because Vanity's emptiness can go f itself pretty much, um, and Dark Law. Dark Law is just nasty, so I don't want to deal with Dark Law. So, you know, I'm just preparing myself. Uh, three reinforcements to the army. Three last chapter of the Noble Knights. This is pretty much Soul Charger on crack. It allows you to grab a Noble Knight in the grave and an equip card and then make a play off that. Hence, I use this guy as an example. I think it's very basic to go into. If anyone wants a combo guide, I will basically... Well, you know what? I'm not the best for a combo guide. Let's be honest here. I'm not the best around for a Noble Knight combo guide. Uh, but three MST, three Forbidden Lance against heroes protecting the Noble Knights when they come out. Make sure that, you know, it trap sounds a little slow. I like Forbidden Lats. It's great to play right now. You know, we got that video that came up on Friday that says these are the cards you should be considering playing, so we're actually playing some of those. Uh, two Noble Arms of Destiny, one Gallatin, two Caliburn. Some people prefer two of these, one of these. I like the Life Point game. That's just me being mean. One Snatch Steal, win more card. You play it this format. Two Excaliburn and one of the pop set cards. Now some people will disagree with me about the whole pop set cards. It's just for random decks. Honestly, I probably throw in a treacherous trap hole in this place. I feel like there's enough equip cards to make the deck going. Um, but I do like this card. It's kind of one of those things not that great. Most uh, If you're going like most tournaments, you're not really going to want to run it. But I feel like when I'm playing online, I want to have it access to it just for popping face downs so I can just clear the board faster. And it helps with the back row, so Definitely something that helped out. Um, there are dual videos coming out for this. Let me just point that out. One Gaia, one Volcasaurus, one Artifact to Roll, two uh, Sacred Noble Knight of the King, Arturius, one Blade Armor, one Single 101, two Arturius, King of the Noble Knights. He's basically the rank 4 version of this, I guess is fair enough to say. One Excalibur, one uh, Castell, one Star Leech. I actually like this guy, believe it or not, because all these guys are light and being able to drop. Every, you know, drop it to, drop shit to zero and then just equip. You could pay, cause it basically just shove 4,000 in your opponent's face. Quite funny. Um, not too many times I went into it. One x Knight, one Abyss Dweller, and one Guy Cowboy. And that's it for the full deck profile. I do not feature a side deck. You know why? Because we have these videos called Guide to Your Side, so basically the side deck is accustomed to what your locals would be. 
Mine being very, very much different because I travel a lot and I go to a lot of different places. So I like to hit a lot of different decks. And that's why my builds are a little weird sometimes. Just a little bit weird. But um, let me know definitely what you guys want to see down below in the comment section if we haven't done it yet. Heavyweight Six Samurai is being worked on right now. Shh, I actually filmed this video like four days ago. So this way I can make sure everything's out on time for you guys. But thank you for the continued support and letting us know what you want to see on this channel. And we were trying to please everyone, so just bear with us. If there's not a video that you like, then you're not forced to watch it. Just keep that in mind. But anyway, make sure to rate, comment, and subscribe. And I will catch you guys later. I'm ready for the Yu-Gi-Oh! Council. Thanks for watching. Take the time out of your day. I'll see you later. Peace.